What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent and today I'm building around Terrakion for Sword and Shield OU. Then I will be testing out the team on the Pokemon Showdown ladder. I'm using my favorite Terrakion set this gen, which is Swords Dance of Life Orb. After a Swords Dance, we have the ability to break down Pokemon like Bulky Sylveon, as well as Clefable, assuming that's not an unaware set. Now, a Pokemon that I think will do very well alongside this, that I really want to try in the home meta, is Toxtricity, because while Terrakion can break through Sylveon, I don't want the game to come down to just me hitting a plus two Stone Eyes or not, so Spec Sludge Wave can go ahead and do work against that. We can also Volt Switch out on Ferrothorn and give Terrakion free switch-ins. Everybody goes Pharaoh on Toxtricity, so that's really helpful. If they have a drill, I might have to be a bit more aggressive and double into Terrakion on it, but I can also just try to damage it with Boom Burst if that's what I want to go for. I'll go Sludge Wave, Boom Burst, and then Volt Switch Overdrive on this Pokemon with Modest Nature, and then Max Special Attack, Max Speed. Max speed, because I still want to be able to speed type Pokemon like Dracozult and Dracovish, assuming they are choice banned and don't have a speed boosting nature, which most of them don't. Now from here, I definitely want a ground immunity. Now the problem with this core is, if I run into like Dugtrio, I'm just gonna lose because neither of these are Shed Shell and they both just get trapped, so... I mean, there's really not a whole lot I can do about that because that Dugtrio isn't really something I can pivot out on, so... We'll see. I could make the Terrakion like the most random quick attack ever over Earthquake, but I don't think that's very valuable. I think hitting Aegislash is a bit better. What do I need though? What can help me out from this position? A ground immunity that can like take on Drill would be great. It doesn't necessarily have to take on plus two Drill because I don't think these two are going to be allowing Drill to SD up very much. Like I'll play a bit defensively and stay in to ensure that I don't get swept, right? But... What can come in under Revenge Drill is what I'm thinking. Anything down here? Flygon wouldn't be bad, it is a ground immunity. So like Scarf Flygon could be good for the U-turn. They could also U-turn out on the Terrakion. On the Ferrothorn into Terrakion, my bad. Noivern wouldn't be bad either because it's able to U-turn out on Corviknight and allow Toxtricity to come in. And if Toxtricity gets the kill on the Corviknight, Noivern can easily clean up late game because its speed tier is really good. And I don't think I've used this since Home came out either, so let's go ahead and give it a shot with Infiltrator and Heavy Duty Boots. This also gives me like a better matchup against Sub-Disabled Dragapult with Hex and Will-O-Wisp, which Dragapult as a whole is such a big threat right now because I don't have a Ghost Resist, so at least if we run into that set, this will be able to do something. Let's run Draco, Hurricane, Flamethrower, and U-Turn with a Max Special Attack, Max Speed Timid Nature. Tim, it's fine. Like, U-Turn is just there for momentum. I'm not really using it to get any damage off, right? Now, from here, what do I need now? I would love my own Scarfer. I would love my own Hazards. I need a better Conkeldur switch in because I have great ways to threaten that using Toxtricity and Noivern, but neither of them really want to take Facade. So what can do that for me? Like, a fairy type of my own wouldn't be bad. I like the idea of running, like... Fable or Sylveon, those seem to be the ones that everybody goes for. But the reason I like Togekiss too is because it's really good against Specs Dragapult. I guess Sylveon can do that as well, but Togekiss would give me another ground immunity, which could be kind of valuable. It's not a ground immunity that takes on Drill though, that's the thing. But I could EV it to take on Hydreigon, which could be kind of useful. Like the set would be 156 Spadef, 100 Special Attack, and Max Speed. I think I'll do this, it does everything that I need it to, and I can use it as a nasty plot breaker, whereas Sylveon is kind of passive, I'm not going to lie. I can, like, add healing support later if I really want to, but I think I want another breaker on the team, so. Let's run Boots, Serene Grace, Togekiss with a nasty plot, and then, like, Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, and Flamethrower is fine, so. Secondary way to break through Corviknight, and a lot of people will pivot Corviknight on Togekiss, so if we nasty plot up on that and then plus two flamethrower, that's great for Noivern and Terrakion, because I don't have to like close combat and take drops and not get the two at KO, so that'll be really good. Like Corviknight straight up eats up life orb close combats from Terrakion. It's kind of sad how bulky that thing is, so let's go ahead and make sure I have another way to break it down. Now from here, I really need hazards of my own. A Scarfer would be great, like we have some pretty fast threats like Noivern and Terak, but like something that can outspeed Dragapult would be really good because I don't want to get swept by Scarf Shadow Ball or Spec Shadow Ball mainly. I don't think I'm outspeeding Scarf Dragapult with whatever I pick, so let's just focus on the Specs one. 
what can do that for me? I've been scarfing a lot of base 100s, like Mew, Celebi. <laughs> Unfortunately, Manaphy is not in the game. I would I would run a lot of Scarf Manaphy if it was. I got a lot of, I wouldn't say hate, but a lot of people were confused why I ran that so much in Ultra Sun Moon. It's just not a Scarfer that people expect, like... That's honestly a really viable strategy on ladder, just run a Scarfer that people won't expect, and they'll sack win conditions to it, so... That's just a trend I've noticed, but... Jirachi could be something I try, like that's the n another base 100 Scarfer I haven't really given a shot. It's not really a Dragapult check unless I get an Iron Head flinch, but you know what? We already have Serene Grace, let's complete the Serene Grace core and just get the flinch, how about that? And uh, I can also run Fire Punch on this to wear down Ferrothorn, which is really good for Tox, so... That's kind of good, and I did mention healing support, healing wish is now on the team. With Iron Head and U-Turn. Great, and I can make this choice scarf right here with like, max attack, max speed, jolly nature. Very happy with this, and then I can go with like, one final Pokemon. I don't have hazards at all, which is kind of concerning, but at least I now have a fairy resist, which is pretty useful. Yeah, I'm definitely happy about that. Ideally, a fairy resist that can get a recovery would be great, though, because, like, if Jirachi gets caught by one fire move, I'm just gonna get swept by the fairy move, so... Let's see, like, a backup steel type here would be really appreciated. Ferrothorn is the steel type that everybody uses for hazards if they need a hazard setter, or else they go Corviknight. I don't think there are many other options, like... Steel types that get hazards, you think there's a lot of those, but in OU, I don't really see many other bets right here. Like, it's really Ferrothorn or, like, offensive drill, but I don't think I need another offensive Pokemon on the team. Like, these four alone, and then the pivot Togekiss is even kind of offensive with Nasty Plot. It's fine. I forgot to- I don't know if I ever mentioned the Spadef investment, by the way. It's to make sure that I can take plus two Flash Cannon from Hydreigon, and I don't have to worry about hazards because I have the boots, but... Yeah, I'll go Ferrothorn as the last Pokemon right here. And then I'll go, like, max HP, max defense nature. With minus speed. And then I'll put zero IVs and speed, obviously, with the leftovers. And since I don't have Stealth Rocks, I'll make it a Stealth Rocker and forego spikes on the team. Then I'll go Gyra Ball, Power Whip, and Lychee. That's good. Abilities are fine, All right? Let's go ahead and play. All right, I've got a game right here. Terrakion actually does really well. I wonder what the Clefable ability is, whether it's Magic Guard or Unaware. I can find out by getting up hazards, but Conkeldur is kind of making that a bit difficult because the moment I get up rocks, it comes in and kills something. I'm going to lead off with my... I really like Jirachi, and if they lead off with the Toad, I can just U-turn into my Pharaoh, so let's do that. Like, if they lead Rotom, it'll be a bit tougher, I guess. What would I do if they lead Rotom, actually? I would have to, like, pivot Noivern, maybe, but that could get T-waved. I don't know. That'll be tough, but I still like Jirachi lead. They do lead Rotom, okay. Well, they might just go for Volt Switch. That's I'm assuming what comes out here, considering I have no ground type, but I don't really know what I want to do. Like, I can go Noivern and take the Volt Switch. I don't have Recovery, though. Let's do it anyway. They just go for Overheat. Okay, so that's pretty good for me. Because now what I can do is just go for U-Turn of my own on the Clef and bring in Toxtricity. And now I kind of have to make, like... You could call it a prediction, but I could just click Sludge Wave and not care. I think I'll probably just do that, like... If they go Toad, it is what it is, but I don't want them pivoting Dragapult on Boom Burst. Yeah, they go to Dragapult, so I can Sludge Wave this for a bit. I actually got a really nasty crit, and that does so much. Let's see, yikes. Okay, what do I want to do now? I can go Togekiss, but like... <laughs> Togekiss is really good. I think I'll just stay in. As they try to DD and I just knock it out. I mean, the only way they could have knocked me out right there was with Specs Draco, so that was kind of the mindset behind my play. Right here, I'll just go to Ferrothorn on the Iron Head, and I can just get up rocks, like... If they go to Conk, I'm not gonna go Togekiss, obviously, because I just mentioned it's my best Pokémon. Knock off, that's fine, I can put that in a range of Flamethrower. And then I'll obviously be dying right here, but that's whatever. Now, there's a few plays, I can go Terrakion, or I can go Togekiss. I like Togekiss better, because it can take the Sucker Punch, and... Like, I like Terrakion's ability to stay healthy and take one hit from Clef. So let's just go for Dazzling Gleam. They don't even go for Sucker Punch. I think they were hoping I like choked and nasty plotted or something. Who knows, but they get in the Rotom now. I'll just go to Noivern, I think. Uh, they crit the Volt Switch back on me, so I guess you could call it justice for me critting their dragon, but I think like the thing is, it looks like even without the crit, I 2-it KO'd, right? Oh, never mind. I did 74. I thought I did 76. So yeah, the crit was big on their Dragapult. 
I wonder who they bring in now though, because everybody just invites in my Togekiss, and I don't think they like that. Yeah, Togekiss is so strong right here. I just need to get rid of this ideally, but that's pretty difficult. So they opt to bring out Conkelder, understandable. What I'll do is bring out Togekiss, like I mentioned. Hit him right with the air slash as I miss it, and take a poison jab in return. That tells me this is probably an AV set. That's really annoying. Like, this was my win condition right here. Now it's at 20%. That's in range of Rotom Volt Switch too, so... <laughs> Not the best for me, but I guess I'll try to air slash again. As I at least get the flinch this time, okay? So, that's kind of cool. Click Dazzle here, just so I don't actually miss, and then... We'll uh, try to go from there. I will keep this, because it can still flinch down, like, all of these three, potentially, so... Let me just bring in my my Tox. Good Volt Switch play. I was hoping to see like a Wisp or maybe Overheat, but obviously that didn't happen. I'm considering just Boom Bursting this Toad because I really don't want to switch out against it. I just want it in range of my Terrakion, so let's just go for Boom Burst. Yeah, that also opens up the end game for Jirachi potentially, so you never know. That's also a win condition, but Rotom's still healthy. But I can flinch their entire team down with Jirachi from this position because Conk is so low. And actually, who do they revenge me with? I'm realizing, what? They have nobody to revenge. This is going to take so much, and it'll be put in range of my track. Oh, I don't think this guy knows what he's doing. This is Specs Tuxter City, dude. Get out of here. Yeah, that's a game. Like, at this point, I can probably win with Trakion if I hit one, but, like, this doesn't even kill me with Overheat, I think. And they're not even timid, so I'm able to outspeed it, and that'll be GG. I'll be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. The Espeon is actually kind of a threat, but Ferrothorn might be able to take it on. The problem is I kind of need my Pharaoh for Bisharp if Terrakion gets worn down. Terrakion is definitely my best Pokemon right here, but if I close combat into Gengar coming in, that's really bad because I don't have a Ghost Resist, so we might have to figure something out against that. I'll go Noivern. Yeah, because against Espeon, I'll live Scarf Dazzling Gleam if that's what they have, and I just want to get U-Turn here. And then I can bring in, like, Pharaoh, but I'm assuming they pivot to Togekiss, if anything. Like, they leave it in. I don't really understand why. I don't want to go Jirachi on Shadow Ball, because it's actually good against Togekiss, so... Let's go to Ferrothorn. As I'm actually choice text on this now, which is a bit bad, I have to admit. Like, definitely not ideal, but at least what I can do is go right for Gyro Ball. I doubt they switch it out, considering, like, I could just click Hazards, and that would be, like, really bad for them. So I'm able to knock out Espeon. That was a really big threat, but Gengar is even bigger of a problem. So right here, what I'm going to do is go... I like Noivern initially. I think they might Swords Dance. Yeah, but like the worst thing is... I mean, the good thing is, even if they Swords Dance again, what I can do is go back to Pharaoh and then put them in range of... Terrakion by doing that. So let's go for Leech Sheet here. As they just go Gengar, yeah, they know that exchange is not going to work out for them, so... I probably would have taken the damage anyway if I were them, because it helps out, like, Gastro, but... I guess they didn't want to. Uh, this thing is an issue, obviously. They can obviously switch out here, because they know I'm locked in, but... I kind of like Noivern, actually. I don't want to go out into that, but... Like, at the same time, it's only checking Machamp, which I can do with Togekiss and whatnot, so let's go Noivern. As they actually hard switch in Machamp, perfect. So, I mean, I'll go for Hurricane. If I miss it and take an Ice Punch, that's kind of bad, but nobody else really wants that. I did just hit. That's AV Ice Punch, I think. No, they go for a knockoff. Okay, I don't really understand why. Can I hit two in a row? That would be honestly be kind of funny if I did. <laughs> Noivern's so good. So we hit two no Hurricanes right there, which is, like, really lucky. Pretty happy about that, but I still have to be careful about the Gengar. Like, Scarf Shadow Ball is such a big threat against my team. I gotta make sure everybody stays out of range, or at least one Mon does, so right now the Mons that are out, that are out of range of that are Tuxter City, Terrakion, they just run. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got another game right here. My opponent has a Seismitoad, so I definitely need to wear that down in order to help out Scarf Jirachi. Although, they have like Rotom too, so I don't know if it's gonna do anything. But what I can do is try to break with Terrak, like plus two looks really strong. Dragapult is a giant problem, I gotta keep that in mind. I'll go with Noivern, but like if they lead Dragapult, that's really bad, so maybe Togekiss. Against Clef, so the thing about Clef is I don't know if it's Thunder Wave or not, so I think Toxter City is the best initial play. That is a Life Orb Moonblast for sure. Now I have the opportunity to attack, and they're not going to have Protect on this set because we just saw it's a Life Orb set. 
I really like Sludge Wave because it hits a Dragapult. If they get in Drill, I can pivot Pharah. Yeah, but they get in Dragapult, and that's able to basically 2 it KO. I think I get in Togekiss. Yeah, because that Scarf Shadow Ball, okay, it did like nothing. And what I can do right here is go right for the... Just go for Dazzling Gleam. Wear down the road, I'm a bit. Like, any damage on this helps out my Toxtricity and my Noivern. And Jirachi mainly. Like, Jirachi really appreciates this. Now, could this have Thunder Wave? Uh, no idea, but I'm gonna go Noivern. Volt Switch, okay. So good to know what their Dragapult set is, that's going to be really helpful, but... They get in Clef, yeah, so I'm assuming this is just going to have the three moves plus recovery, right? So what I could try to do here is take damage on it, but... Not so sure I like that idea. It, it would put it in range of track though, which would be huge. But if I miss and just die here... It's 70%. Okay, I hit. Good. That's all I needed, because now I think I just get in... I'll go Toxtricity first, I think, but... No, I think Teraki on Stone Edge is better. I just don't want them getting in Seismitoad, but I think it's fine. Like, Stone Edge should kill. I'm trying to go for two inaccurate moves in a row right now. That's kind of yikes, but I'll go for Stone Edge. They hard pivot and drill. That's odd. I'm gonna go to Ferrothorn here. I don't know if they're trying to bait me to get in, like, Drag or something, but... They get in Clef again. I'm assuming this has a Fire-type move. And they burnt my Togekiss, okay, not the greatest. So that's not Scarf, it's just like probably... Honestly, I have no idea, I didn't show lefties either, but... I'm gonna go for Air Slash. They actually got the recovery move off. But I'm really happy with the damage on this, like I've mentioned that a few times now. Okay, this is Reckless, but I'm gonna go Jirachi on the Volt Switch, yeah. Because this will kind of force in Toad, and then I can get in Pharaoh like I want, and actually start to wear their team down for the end game with Jirachi. Yeah, now what I can do is U-turn here, get a bit of chip on this. I still have Healing Wish support, I forgot. I could bring Togekiss back. Yeah, I definitely bring this in here and go right for Stealth Rocks. Uh, this one's not looking great, but... It's still winnable. <laughs> I'm not gonna go hard track, I'm just gonna Gyre Ball. As they Moonblast, trying to overpredict. I think they were trying to catch my Tracky on there, but that's definitely a win con for me. Can't sack that. No, I can't risk it. Like I just mentioned, and I'm, not, I'm thinking about risking it now. Like, what is that? <laughs> Let's go ahead and keep this for the Draco base and sack off Togekiss, I think. As they paint split. Okay, do you have speed? I de genuinely don't know if they have speed or not. They do. Okay, so I'm dead. Uh, Dragapult would make sense. This one's probably going to be a loss. Unless I get insanely lucky with the Jirachi, but... Like, I would have to get really lucky. Oh, wait, this thing's low? Wait, this was Scarf. I'm really dumb. Uh, okay, let's, let's rethink. Pharaoh. Forgot it was Scarf. I was so worried about its health, but that was kind of a blunder. I'll go for Leech Seed. Looks like I can, t I can take that next hit, so let's just go for Gyre Ball. I'm really confused as to why they keep on letting me damage this. Okay, I got in on the correct turn. Amazing. And what I can do here is just go right for close combat, I think. And knock that out. Great. That's really good. So now out comes the Dragapult. This thing is like the big problem, but it's, it only has one switch in left, it looks like. If I suck Ferrothorn, it's over because I get swept by Shadow Ball, so I can't do that. I think I suck off Tuxter C, then get in Pharah. Yeah, then I get in Pharaoh here. Go right for the Gyra Ball. Ah, it might be over anyway if that Scarf Draco Vish. I'm not gonna go for the Leech Seed kill. I'm just gonna take the kill normally. Uh, yeah, I think I think this is over in their favor. Out comes this. Earthquake. If it was Scarf the entire time, good bluff, dude. It was Scarf the entire time. Why didn't they just stay in earlier against the, the thing then? Well, I mean, I have a play. This would be so silly if it worked. Nah, no way. GG, man. I'll actually drop a GG in chat. I'll be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. Tough L. That guy definitely caught me off with a double scarf, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and try to win here. Lots of fast threats on this guy's team. All four of these are just really big problems, but yeah, I don't really know what to do against Dragapult, but I have some good threats here too. Like, Terrakion looks amazing. Togekiss looks really strong. I'm going to lead off with the Jirachi. 
on the Dragapult. I'm gonna U-turn. I don't think there's Scarf, and then I can go Togekiss. On the, okay, it's a Willow Hex set, but they didn't show leftovers though, which is interesting. Don't really know what to think of that, but I'll go right for Dazzle as they go for Sub to scout my move, I guess. And then I'll Air Slash this time, maybe. Yeah, because they have Disable. I don't know why they're not lefties on it though, that's what's confusing me here. Okay, they just take my Togekiss's damage, but Dragapult being dead is like so strong. Especially for Toxtricity, that mon really appreciates it, so. Really happy with that exchange. Now, their Terrakion is such a big issue. Yeah, I don't know what to do against this. I mean, we can maybe scout its item right here, depending on what they go for. That actually killed. They got a crit though, so I can't calc whether it's a bandit or a scarf. Yeah, because unless scarf without with crit still doesn't kill. No, because that's just bandit. Yeah, I can't find out. Okay, that's really annoying, but well, at least what I can do right here is get in my Noivern. As much as I want a Flamethrower into Ferrothorn, I know what I'll do it. Ends up being Necrozma. So the thing is, I don't know what this Necrozma is, and if I U-turn and it gets a weakness policy, and then Dragon Dances, I would probably lose the game. So let's Draco into it. It's Thunder Wave, okay. Well, I'll just U-turn this turn then. Good to know, but kind of an annoying set because now I lost my speed control against the Keld. So that leads me to believe this may not be very fast, and I kind of want to get in Toxtricity and Boom Burst. Because that should kill this. I don't think they're very fast on this, I'm going to go for the Boom Burst. Yeah, they're not fast and I knock it out, nice. So that's helpful. Now they can get in Keldeo or Trachyon again. Yeah, I'll just go out into the Paralyzed Noivern. Close combat. So that is definitely banded. Yeah, like it would have been so helpful to know that earlier. There's that. So I could easily just win with the Speed Tie right here, but I don't think that's worth it. Like, what kind of play win con is that? I'll instead go Toxtricity and just go right for Overdrive. As they sack. I don't know why they're sacking that, but... I get rid of it at the very least. So, there's a few things I can try here. I still might have to win a speed tie. Unless I can get the Playwright versus Keldeo with my Ferrothorn. I mean, they could just click the water move, but they could also click the fighting move. Yeah, they go for a secret sword. I don't I think this might be the scarf if I had to guess. I don't want to lose two in a row. That would be so sad. I don't think that, like, even if there's Scarf, it should be able to kill me. I just tried to set up Terrakion, but I need to get rid of this. Maybe they get baited. Let's try it. Maybe they stay in for no reason here and I can power up through. <laughs> now they get in Cinderace, so. I guess I get to chip it for Iron Head potentially, but. Like, what I have to do here is get in Terrak and then pivot to Jirachi. They're obviously gonna click Pyro Ball. I don't think you would U turn. They actually U-turned. No. Okay, what do I do? Do I just hope it's not Scarf Keld, or do I go for something else? Like, I still have Healing Wish. That's the thing. They're obviously going to go Keldeo here. It's going to be Scarf, like, for sure. They uh, DC'd. I wouldn't mind if you didn't come back, but I'm kind of curious now. I don't know if they're just calcing something. Like, maybe they're on mobile, but... I'm kind of worried here. Like, is there a way I can win if there's Scarf Keldeo? That's my question. They do come back. They're going to go Keldeo, right? Is there anything I can do against Scarf Keldeo here? Because that's what's coming in. If I go Ferrothorn, I'm dead. If Jirachi might get to it here, and there's not a whole lot Jirachi can do against it. I think my best bet is to stay in and hope they're not Scarf. As they definitely are, yeah. I don't think I was winning if they were Scarf either way. So once again, I'm going to go for this win con of them choking the game away by potentially letting me win with Jirachi. Okay, they get in Pharaoh. Let's go for rocks. They might have knockoff on this. But obviously I have to get in my Jirachi here. On the spike. Yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing like a losing battle, but I'll try to fire punch. Yeah, nothing I can do. This guy just wins with uh, either of them, so... GG, man. Two losses in a row feels kind of bad, but I'll be right back. Okay, I found this guy again. I lost to him like a couple of games ago. Ideally, we can beat him this time because I know a bit more about his team, but Dragapult is such a big issue. What I want to do is lead off with... 
So we know it's Scarf Drag and Scarf Drill, which is really interesting and really tough to deal with. I'll lead off with my... With my Togue. Against Rotom, so obviously not great. Hmm. I don't want to invite in Clef to attack, so what I'm going to do here is go right for... Dazzle on the Volt. That did a lot. He, this guy definitely has like special attack investment. Yeah, but I can get damage on Clef right here, which is actually really good. And I can even try to go for the flinch, but they're obviously going to pivot this back in like they did last time. I'll get this in this time and then see how they respond now. We know it's Scarf Drill. I'm assuming I'm in range of Iron Head. Out comes a drag. Shadow Ball won't kill me. I don't know if they would go for a dragon move. They go for Draco. Okay, so I can get a Brox now. Which is actually going to help me out. I think I should have done this early on last time, but I didn't. They go ahead. They have Defog. Okay, good to know that they have that. So this is my opening to attack. I think I just click Hurricane. Now I'm going to Draco. He was 75. Okay, so Rotom's low. That's really strong. Very happy about that, but so is my Noivern, which is a bit worse, I feel. They might get in the Dragapult here because it probably has a U-turn on the Scarf set, and that's just free momentum, right? I wonder... I think they're like maybe U-turn, Draco Meteor, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower, which is why that Pharaoh play was kind of risky. I'm just going to sack here. I don't think it's worth risking anybody else. You just go for Shadow Ball, okay. So, because they locked Shadow Ball, I can go back to Pharaoh if I want to. I just realized how good my Pharaoh is now that their <laughs> Rotom is so low. That's actually really good. Does Togekiss live Shadow Ball? Probably. We saw it take like 28 last time, right? I can use that here. Just go right for Dazzling Gleam every time. Like, they might sack off Rotom. They might go... Yeah, they suck off Rotom. I think my Ferrothorn is going to do really well. I even have damage on Clef. Now, obviously, that's going to have a fire move, but it can't switch into me, which is the important thing. What is this? I don't know what this guy was trying to do there, but I'll take the kill on this if they want to give it to me. I would totally flamethrower here on Drill, but, like, there kind of is a point now that I'm thinking about it, but I really don't want this doing anything else. Does flamethrower kill it if Air Slash did that much? Fable, Flamethrower, that's that's a Flamethrower, Ferrothorn, Togekiss, 22 to 26, yeah, Catch Drill, I figured they were going to make this play, we know this is Scarf 2, I don't want to give them damage on Ferrothorn, but at the same time, I could just come in and lead cheat if I want to, as they go right for Iron Head, that's great, I can get up Rocks now too, Continue to wear the team down. Ends up being Clef. I'm assuming this is going to go for the fire move. I'll make the Toxtricity play here. No, it opted for recovery. Okay. Tough turn. Like, I, I don't know which one they're pivoting to, and I kind of will have to get this right. Both of them give them something. Okay, they're just leaving the clef. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't try to make the offensive pivot there, but out comes the Dragapult, to which I think it might be worth it to stay in against. Yeah, because that's going to 2 it KO me. What I can do now is vegan them for Jirachi and, like, Terrakion, though. Terrakion is going to do really well with Stone Edge. I think I'll just sack this off. And then I can use my Togekiss to respond again. Yeah. I wonder if they're triple scarf. Like, we didn't see what the Draco Vish was last time, which was really interesting. But unless they crit me right here, I should be able to win. Okay, good. And now... They're gonna go Draco Vish, okay. I guess, is it worth it to find out here? I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not scarf, so I'm able to knock that out. I think they were bluffing. But, like, there's... I figured they wouldn't have triple scarf, and if they did, I could see what they locked. So... Yeah, that should be game in my favor this time. I'll be right back. Oh lord, I'm really happy with that win. Maybe we can even find the other guy who I lost to and beat him as well, but I don't know what the odds of that are. Let's see what I can do right here. I really am weak to Zeraora, but... No, yeah, I'm really weak to that. Maybe Toxtricity can naturally take one of anything. They have some good pivots, though, like Komoo and 
the Ferrothorn, so that's kind of tough. Terrakion looks amazing right here. I am going to lead off with my Noivern against the Komo'o, so I can either go for Draco immediately, or I can go for U-Turn. If they go out into the Hatterene, what I can do is U-Turn out into my Togekiss or Jirachi. The problem is, I would be taking a Nuzzle in the process, so I think I have to U-Turn. Okay, I'm gonna Draco now. They might think I'm like Specs or something. And if they do, that would be amazing. Yeah, they thought I was Specs, so I knocked that out. And I'm able to prevent rocks, I think. It depends on whether Pharaoh has them. This cannot kill me, and any damage I get on it is amazing. But I still think it might be better to go Pharaoh immediately. The problem is I could put myself in a bad spot against the Dracovish if I were to make that play. Does anything else make sense right here? I don't think so. I kind of need all these people. I think U-turn is fine, but I don't want to like put myself in range of Aegis Slash, so let's go Pharaoh. As they go right for the fists, that's fine too. I really like just Gyra Ball immediately, if I'm being honest. The reason being, it damages Hatterene for Togekiss and Noivern, but if they like close combat right here, I'll live and I'll be able to put this really low. So let's go right for the CC, I mean the Gyra Ball. I could have power whipped too, but I figured that I didn't want to miss. This might even just kill. And they run, so I'll be right back. Well, Lord, I have another game right here. Weird game right there. I don't really know why he let me get rid of Zara so early. <laughs> that definitely just cost him right there, but I really like Terrakion again. Once again, Dragapult is not something I can give a good lead situation, so I have to go Togekiss right here, I think. If they lead off with a Drill, I can pivot Pharaoh. If they lead Keldeo, I can stay in. Because, like, I can Dazzle. It should Oko this, and then they don't really have the best switch-ins. They just go for Scald, really? That's Specs. This should kill. Never mind, I really didn't do that much at all, huh? Togekiss is kinda weak. Okay, I can try to get up rocks. They don't burn me at all, which is like really lucky. I have to admit, that's really nice. And I'll go for rocks here. We can find out if they're a defog on the Rotom. Rotom's gonna come in and that's gonna be a tough turn because I really wanna get in Terrakion, but if they wisp me, okay, they get in Conk. Hmm. So another weird turn here. I'm considering staying in, as crazy as that sounds, but if they're physical Dragapult, I would lose if I stayed in, so. I don't want anybody dying though. I guess I'll go Togekiss. They go for a knockoff. I'm pretty sure I live a Mach Punch from this percentage. I'm pretty sure I'll live. So they go Rotom, yeah. I do 14. They're like very spadef on that. I'm gonna go Noivern as they volt immediately. At least I get to keep rocks up, but I thought they might defog, which is why I wanted to do this. I would have gone Teraki on, but I really can't risk that getting burned. That's the problem. So, I'm just trying to figure out how I can get Teraki on in on like drill or something. That would be like great, but out comes Dragapult. I'll go ahead and sack off my Togekiss as they Draco. I really hope they're locked into that. That would be amazing. <laughs> so let's go right for the Let's go for Flamethrower in case they go out into their drill is my thought process. Out comes the Rotom Heat. I think they're Volt Switching, so what I can do is go Pharaoh. Or I just Sack. Like, those are both good plays. Like, Noivern is also not bad here. I guess we'll go Noivern. Yeah, I don't really care about Noivern's health. I'm pretty sure it's still out of range of the Conk Mach Punch too. And I kind of like having the ground immunities, so let's go ahead and keep them around. Out comes the Dragapult again. This time they're going to Shadow Ball for sure. <laughs> No doubt about it, because I'm in range, so... Let's go Pharaoh here. They do get the spit drop, kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I would have loved to have been healthier. But I can lead sheet here. Okay, they were actually willing to let me knock them out. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess what I'll do is sack and then get in Lecturachion. As they get in Conk, okay, well that's fine. I'm gonna sack off Togekiss here to minimize recovery. And then what I can do is get in, like... Toxtricity after. Toxtricity or Terrakion? Terrakion probably lives, but I don't want to take the hit, so... Yeah, this is my play. And I think I Sludge Wave here. Like, I don't want them going... I don't want them going Dragapult, but I also really want to keep my hazards. I guess we'll go for Sludge Wave. Yeah, they go Drill. This one might be a loss too, because they can spin and then outspeed my Terrakion. Let's hope Ferrothorn can live. Maybe it does. Yeah, they go. For, I think I'd leave Earthquake from this percentage, so I can try to power up here if I want to. Or I just go for the rocks plus Teraki on win. Like, that's also the other option here, but I don't think that's very likely. Okay, I did live. I got, I got a crit too, so that's kind of cool. 
And that puts it in range of Jirachi. So obviously I bring that out right here. I'm just gonna go right for Fire Punch and knock it out. We're still in this, but like, not the best either. It's, like this Dragapult is gonna mess my team up, I can see that. I think my best option is to sack like Toxtricity. It doesn't really provide me much speed control at this point. Sludge Wave is spammable though, I have to admit. Yeah, actually I'll keep that around and maybe go like, Trekion shouldn't be able to live too, but if it can, that I might be going for that roll right here. Because they're, what, Scarf? What were they again? They were doing Scarf damage to my Pharah, right? Yeah, 30%. Let me just double check that damage. Pharah Thorn. Yeah, they're Scarf. So, can Terrakion take two Scarf hits? Like, let's take away the specs here. Okay, Terrakion actually eats these up, so I just gotta not get spit after opt. Yeah, that did nothing. Okay, that's this is actually my opening right here. That did literally zero. And what I can do is just hit him up with Stone Edge. If I two-hit KO Clef, my Noivern and my Toxtricity... Well, Toxtricity doesn't really care, but... Noivern and Terrakion itself would really love that, so let's see. Please hit. Okay, good. If that got a kill right there, it was over, so I'm glad I was able to hit the attack. Now they're going to go for... Wait a minute. They did 46. That was... They're modest scarf, okay. Did they show me an item? Like, I don't- I'm not being dumb, right? This didn't show leftovers or anything. It's never switched up moves, and we know they're locked in because they did... Didn't attack my thing. Yeah, I knocked this out right here if I get a good roll. Like, they have to m nearly max roll me. This shouldn't kill me. Okay, never mind. I don't think it was actually had to be a nearly max roll. It was like a mid roll, but... I'm able to... Well, I die right there. I'll bring in Toxtricity now. And I kind of have to overdrive. It should kill this, but then I'll probably end up losing after. Oh, it didn't even kill. Yeah, GG, man. I think that's GG, because, like, I can keep this around, but it depends on how much speed they have on Rotom. What I have to do is sack off my Noivern and then get in Jirachi. Yeah, this is my best option. Let's go right for Iron Head. If I killed right there, I could win, but I don't think I can win now. Yeah, because that's mock punch range, and then... Like, the only way I can win is if I can crit Boom Burst and then hope they're not fast enough on their Rotom. Yeah, there's that. I can live right here, and then maybe if I'm fast enough for Rotom, I can win, but... Like, Clef should just naturally take one. They go Rotom. Are they fast? They... Oh, are, we, are we serious? They lived on one. I'm pretty sure the Clef would have lived, but I'll be right back again. Okay, I have the next game right here. This is the sixth the Dragapult I'm fighting against today. <laughs> that's really frustrating because my team... Like, that's the one thing I don't really have counterplay for, but it is a really good Pokemon, so maybe it's my fault. I'll go ahead and lead off with... Hmm. Terrakion is not bad, but I... Once again, I really don't want to give Dragapult momentum. Titar is interesting. I can get in Pharaoh, I think, and try to get up rocks. They probably have a fire move, but like... I can still try to get up rocks here. Like, any chip on this is good for my Toxtricity, so... Let's do this, and then let's go right for Elite Sheet. Okay, they don't want me getting any recovery, understandable. I'll get in Toxtricity because it doesn't take Thunder Wave. Flamethrower hurts, but, like, I can take it. Okay, I figured they weren't gonna go Drill. And I'll get in Pharah now, in case that's what the play they do is. Yeah, because now what I can do is just go ahead and throw out a Power Whip. Clefable comes in. This has shown Flamethrower, so that means it's definitely the Life Orb set. Let's go Togekiss on the Moonblast and just click... Hair Slash is fine, and then I can Dazzling Gleam this turn. I would Flamethrower, but I really don't think that's smart. Like, the, even if the damage on Drill is good, so I don't really mind. And then I can go Ferrothorn here. Like, SD is cool, dude, but, like, I'm still gonna put you in range of everything with Power Whip. I did miss it, though, so they, had they stayed in, they probably would have won, which is kind of funny. But, um, yeah, I'm still worried about the drag now that my Togekiss is weak. I'll suck off the Toxtricity to the Flamethrower and then get in, like... Trakion should kill this, so let's go to that. I'm risking a miss here, which is probably the risking the game, but... Look, if I hit it, that's great. Is this Scarf? It's 53 is a lot, but it is Life Orb Terrakion after all. But it didn't show me leftovers, right? No, it did, okay. <laughs> so I can 2-hit KO that. 
Now here's the problem, Dragapult comes in and just messes my team up. They're still using Drill though, I don't really understand why, like... Are you gonna SD now and try to break my Pharaoh? No, you're just gonna go for that. Clef should be dead right here, but it's not. Sacks off T-Tar, okay. Clef comes in. It's gonna go for Flamethrower, that's for sure. I think my best play is to keep this around and sack off my Togekiss. It actually lived, which is kind of funny. Yeah, Flamethrower in case they make that play. I don't want to have to go for this win con. Are you Scarf? They are, okay, that makes things interesting, but I have Pokemon that can live these hits. I just have to hit moves with my Terrakion to win, I think. So is it worth it to sack this or not? Probably not. But Ferrothorn will get to it KO'd too. I still think that's the expendable Pokemon. Okay, that's fine. They'll knock me out here. And then I get a Noivern because we know they're locked in. I just go right for U-turn. Yeah, because that allows me to get this and I once again have to hit Stone Edge, but if I do here, I think I win the game. I didn't, and they went for foul play. I, I'm in range of the Terrakion now though, and that's the, I mean the Dragapult Shadow Ball now, and that's the big issue, and I just missed twice. Okay, I kill it. Not the best though. If I go Noivern, I'll have to hit Draco. I think I suck Jirachi, then get in. Actually, I suck this, then get in Noivern, right? And then I try to hit Hurricane into Flamethrower, and then I should win. No, because then two Scarf Dracos wins them the game. Yeah, I think I lost because I missed two Stone Edges and let Terrakion get weakened. Depends. Can Jirachi take minus two Draco from Scarf Dragapult? Because if it can, that's a possibility here. Let's see. Dragapult against Jirachi. I'm offensive, I doubt it. Okay, hold up, I can, I think. At minus two special attack, they're doing 15 to 18. That's modest, too. I don't know if they were modest or not. My Jirachi lives it, so it literally comes down to me hitting a hurricane with my Noivern. I think. I'm gonna bring this out. I think I have to... Does Flamethrower kill, or can I live two of these? Okay, let's let's calc here just to make sure. So Shadow Ball is doing nothing. That's minus two. Flamethrower doesn't kill this. I have to Hurricane and hit. And if I do, I should be able to win this game. They're obviously going to try to switch out, right? All I need to do is hit it, then I can Flamethrower, then my Jirachi should be able to wrap it up. Please, come on. Like, those Terrakion misses are the only reason why I have, I'm in this position, because had it been healthy enough to take this on, I wouldn't have to do this. There we go, okay. Flamethrower. Actually, if they switch back... They could Draco. That, I figured they wouldn't, yeah. Now this comes in, I just have to live with Jirachi, which I should be able to very easily, because we saw minus two modest does 18 max. They could also play for the Draco miss. But then they're playing with Shadow Ball rolls too, yeah. Jirachi lives this hit. There it is, and Iron Head is going to wrap it up for us. Okay, a few. So the Terrakion hacks didn't cost me the game. Okay, seven Dragapults in one video. That is very cool, but it's gone pretty well. I think I'm five and three right now. If I can win right here, it'll be six and three, so maybe we can see something happen, but yeah, Dragapult, man. They're gonna lead Zara, I think. I don't think they're leading Drag. So if I'm expecting that, I could lead Toxtricity. Yeah, they lead Zara. I can take any one hit here. This doesn't get like ground coverage or anything. And I just go right for Boom Burst. I don't think they would risk damage on the drag. Should I overdrive? No, 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 no. Let's go for Boom Burst. I doubt they risk damage on such a good Pokemon when they have a Ferrothorn. That's like not even that good here because all my guys have fire coverage. Yeah, they go Pharaoh. I figured that play comes out. I think hazards are going to be a priority for me here. So let's try to get those up. Or I break this down. Like that's the other option, but I think this is better. They're also not leftovers, which is important to note. I don't really know what to think of that. So, initially I'll go Togekiss. Like, I don't know what this is, but... I could just put it all on this and stay in, but, like, that's not happening. 
Yeah, because they just go right for Flamethrower. And at least this position allows me to Nasty Plot or go right for Dazzle. I'll go for Dazzle immediately. They might pivot Corbinet, which is why I want a Nasty Plot, but I can still do it here. I don't think they would U-turn, I think they would Defog. So this is Leftovers, which is good to know. Yeah, they go for Defog, but now what I can do is Flamethrower or something, like, really hard. And they don't really have the best plays against this. So I outright kill Corviknight, which is really good. Now they're gonna bring in Zera, obviously, right? I think I suck off my Pharaoh, question mark? Yeah, because the Sylveon has Mystical Fire, and while rocks are good, I should still be able to get up rocks if they allow me to... If they don't close combat straight into the Pharaoh, which would be really valuable. If I really wanted to be aggressive, I could put the entire game on just them close combating, and I could Dazzle and Gleam into Zera. Because at that point, my Togekiss is still healthy to take on the the Dragapult, but I can't do that. I'm going to go out into my Pharaoh. Yeah, they go for Fists. I figured I can't risk Togekiss. Let's go for Rocks here. Like, even if they close combat at Red there, I could still win the game, but I think it's a lot harder if my Togekiss dies. Right here, I don't mind being a bit aggressive. This thing doesn't provide much value to me anymore. And if they do lock Flamethrower, what I can do is get back in my Togekiss, I think. Where do I go Terrakion? Okay, that's probably even better. Let's go Terrakion. And just hit them with Stone Edge. Yeah, that's so strong. If I can hit two hits into Sylveon. They go Conk, which probably should be able to knock me out with the Mach Punch. Terrakion against Conk Elder. Okay, never mind. That doesn't even kill me. I could kill this right here. And I will. They don't even go for a Mach Punch. They tried to catch the Togekiss, but that mon is way too good. I've stressed that so many times right now. Uh, the problem is I don't have the best Shadow Ball switch-ins anymore, so that's something I have to figure out. But... I'll probably suck Toxtricity now that I'm looking at this as a whole. What is that called? Distance Demon? <laughs> Isn't that a Smash thing? Distance Demon. I don't know, but... What I can do right here is... Go Tuxtricity on close combat is what I'm thinking. Yeah, and then Plasma Fists will easily kill me right here. So do I want to do anything about that? Not really. They click Knock Off for the kill. Okay, that's fine. I like Noivern U-Turn because if they stand, this is still dead. And if they go Sylveon, I can catch that using Togekiss. Okay, so they do go for the Volt Switch. This is really low next time it comes in. Do they pivot? They should go Sylveon, right? Yeah, so th there's that. I can get in my... My Togekiss here. And I think the play is just Spam Air Slash. Like, I might Nasty Plot if I get them on the turn where they're going to wish. Okay, I'll Nasty Plot here. Yeah, because they're going to wish, and then I can just air slash again. And now I'm doing way too much damage, and <laughs> this is not a good situation for them. They do go for the protect, but as long as I can get a bit lucky here, like, they have to break through so many times to win this exchange. I'm assuming they try to hyper voice here, right? Yeah. They do get it off. Okay, I actually lived three of those. Okay, I, if I would lose this exchange, that would just be sad. Flinch, nice. This is stronger, right? I can go for that. Protect. Okay, now I'll try to go for one last flinch. There we go. Okay, good. I can dazzle now. Ah, that's exciting. Okay. And I might be able to force in Zera one more time here. So this thing being dead is really big for Terrakion and Noivern. Okay, there we go. Togekiss did all I needed to do. So now they're gonna get in what? The Zera? I really wanna win this. I don't wanna go 5 and 4. That sounds so bad. So there's the Zera. I definitely keep this around for the dragon immunity. And I believe the best play is to sack off. Actually, that might not be true. The best play might be to sack this off. So I will. 
And then I can get in Jirachi here and go right for the U-turn. They have no way to remove hazards, so I get rid of that. Then all I have to do is force in the Dragapult to Draco. So I go Terrakion here. I live Shadow Ball every time. There it is. They have to Draco here every time. I'm not going to ch choke away my Jirachi. Actually, if they did do that, like say they draco I think I could win with Terrakion alone. So let's go Jirachi. Yep, there's the Draco. Now I can Fire Punch into the Ferrothorn coming in. There we go. This, that puts this in range of hazards. I mean, this thing obviously isn't a threat. Like, come on now. And then Terrakion should easily live the, the Shadow Ball if that's what they go for. Now, obviously, I'll pivot Noivern first. Because if I have to flinch, I will. Yeah, they lock Shadow Ball. That's the correct play. Wait, 44? What? That's not Specs. That's Scarf. Huh. Well, let's try to hit Stone Edge. And Stone Edge was able to hit, and that's going to wrap it up. Nice. So that is going to be the live. I did hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the team down below in the description. Nice 6 and 3, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.